My meniscus surgery was one day away. I had canceled a trip to Paris and Amsterdam with my brother and his best friend. That was over 20 years ago. But I freaked out. I canceled the surgery. I got on the plane to Europe, landed in Holland, had an amazing vacation. But my knee was still in pain. Months went by. Years went by and I was still in pain. I was contemplating getting that meniscus surgery, but I was concerned about failure rates. I was concerned about compounding the problem, concerned about earlier rates of osteoarthritis, or that 36% of medial meniscus surgeries require a repeat meniscus repair or partial removal of the meniscus after five or more years. So like many of you, I started to limit my life, right? I got rid of my mountain bike, I, tra I had two. I traded one for a website, I traded the other for some chiropractic care. My skis, I gave them away. My snowboard just got rusty in the shed. I was still in pain though. I did a lot of rehab, but still in the middle of the night, my wife would be turning the lights on at three in the morning, giving me that deep tissue massage. It was great to see that love, but it was the only thing that gave me relief in the middle of the night. It was challenging. But I started looking into shockwave therapy. I looked into the radial shockwave. It was a cheaper machine. The reps would come into my office and show me how it worked, but I'd have be left with bruises and even scabbing on my skin. I, and, I, and I looked into it and I'm like, wait, this is, not, this is not right. This is a little too harsh on the body. But then in 2016, I found the piezo wave. This machine was different. It was focused shockwave instead of a wave that expanded in the body. It was a wave that made a specific blade of sound at a predetermined depth into the tissue. But could it help my meniscus? Could it help reverse the years of California action sports lifestyle that put me in the situation I was in? Well, the piezo wave emits, again, these focused shockwaves that break up adhesions, break up scar tissue, things that are inhibiting blood from coming in, and then creates neovascularization or new blood supply to the area, then stimulates chondrocytes or, or collagen building cells that help actually regenerate the knee. And I know that sounds crazy, but yes, regeneration. And there's research article after research article to show that. Did it take a long time? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes. Right now, I have a season pass to the ski resorts in Tahoe. I go with my twin girls and my wife, and they're following my, me like little ducklings down the mountain, and then I go shred with my friends. Do I have neoprene sleeves on my knees? Yes. Am I doing regular knee workouts? Yes. But do I have pain? No. Do I feel strong? Yes. It is amazing. I can offer hope to you. Hey, even if there's arthritis in your knees, check out some of the research. Extracorporeal shockwave therapy accelerates the healing of a meniscal tear in avascular region in a rat model. The authors performed a histological examination to evaluate meniscal healing. ESWT promoted the healing of meniscal tears in the avascular area. ESWT stimulated proliferation of meniscal cells and upregulation of cartilage repairing factors such as CCN2. A bone will heal easy, right? You break a bone, there's tons of blood. It's manufactured in the middle of bones, so it heals within six weeks. The problem with cartilage, not of good blood supply, so it doesn't heal. This machine brings the blood to the area and helps those tissues heal. Check out another article. Extracorporeal shockwave therapy shows chondroprotective effects in osteoarthritic rat knee. So it's not only healing, it's actually protecting and helping in the future. So some of you might be worried, okay, wait, I've got an 800 mile an hour plus wave going into my knee, into the meniscus. Is this going to cause any injury? The ESWT impulses did not cause any damage to the cartilage of the meniscus and the tissue of the joint when compared with the sham group. ESW treatment can increase the activity of chondrocytes and decrease cartilage fissuring as well as chondrocyte apoptosis. So that cracking and degeneration of that cartilage is actually repaired and the chondrocyte Apoptosis is, is the death of the cells. It decreases the death 
of the cartilage producing cells. It's amazing. I and so many other people in my office don't know where we'd be in our lives without this machine, and I wanna get you there too.